In this lesson, we're going to learn about creating mail rules in Outlook. And email rules are basically a set of instructions that tell Outlook what to do with messages. And mail rules operate on a simple concept of a condition and action. So let's see what that looks like. In a typical mail rule, we'll have a condition. And that condition is present within the message itself. And based upon that condition, Outlook will take an action with your message. So let's look at an example of that. Let's say that I have a condition where in which a message is received from my boss, Micha Villarreal. The action I want Outlook to take is to move that message into a folder called Micha's folder. And that's a simple, straightforward mail rule. The message meets a criteria. It is from Micha Villarreal. If it is from Micha Villarreal, then it will be placed into a folder called Micha's folder. And that's a simple, straightforward rule. Now, mail rules can be as simple as this, and they can be a little bit more complex if we want them to. Let's look at another example here. In this example, we have a message received from Micha Villarreal. Based upon that condition, Outlook will move the message into a folder called Micha's folder and it will assign a category called Administrator. So based upon one condition, Outlook will perform two actions for us. Now, this is another typical example of a way in which you will use mail rules to help organize your email messages. Now, Mail rules can even get a little more complicated, where in which you can have multiple conditions create multiple actions. Let's take a uh, simple example of that. In this example, we have a mail rule where a message is received from my boss and contains the words tech fair. And both those conditions must be met in order for it to be moved to a folder and given a category. If one of those conditions is not met, then it won't happen. So, for example, if the message came from Micha Villarreal, but the message did not contain the word Tech Fair at all, then it will not be moved into the folder or given the category administrator. So, you can create very simple mail rules to very complicated mail rules. And in this first video, we're going to go ahead and look at a very simple mail rule. The easiest way to create a mail rule is to base it upon an existing message. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and right click on this message. And from the contextual menu, I see that I have a create rule option. I'll click on create rule and that'll open up a page. And when the page opens, it will provide me the opportunity to give this mail rule a descriptive name. Once I've given the rule a name, Outlook gives me three conditions that I can choose from that are based upon the message that I've selected. Now, the first one is, it was received from. So if this message was received from my boss, I can instruct Outlook to create an action based on that. If it was sent to me, then I can have Outlook do an action on that. And if it includes these words in the subject, in this example, MS pricing for E2020, then I would have Outlook do an action on that. So for this first example, let's go ahead and place a check mark on the first one it was received from. So any message that is received from my boss will have some sort of action performed on it. And the actions are down here at the bottom. It says, do the following. So Based upon the condition that the message was received from my boss, Outlook will do the following. And the default or the automatic action is to move the message to a folder. Now there are more options that you can choose from. If we click the pull down menu here, we see there are several other actions that we can perform. But for this first example, let's go ahead and just choose move the message to a folder. Now you can select the folder from over here and click select one and that will display your inbox 
and in your inbox you will see all the folders that are in here to see any folders that you've created go ahead and click on the disclosure triangle next to the inbox and you will see your folders in here now if you did not get the opportunity to create a folder ahead of time there's a button down here that will allow you to create a new folder at this time whether you create a new folder you have one selected go ahead and click on it once to select it and then click OK now you've created your first mail rule we've told Outlook that if I receive messages from Artemisa Villarreal I want them to be moved to a folder called administrator to save this mail rule go to the bottom right hand corner and click save so now that I've created this mail rule in the future any messages that I receive from Artemisa Villarreal will be placed into this folder called administrator and that's how a simple basic mail rule works